Missile Command. A game where you command missiles, you do not ask them politely. Missiles simply do not respond to polite requests. You have to command them. And the designer of the game, Dave Toyrer, knew this. Missile Command, in my opinion, is probably, safe to say, Mike, hit me if I'm wrong, the first survival horror game. Uh, pretty much right. I mean, it was the first game that arguably dealt with the conflict in the 80s between the Soviet Union and the United States. I know when I played the game, I, I pictured the bad guys as the Russians. Yeah. The original levels in Missile Command were, were supposed to represent six cities in California. Well, that was the original intent, anyway. The original intent, right. While the game's designer, Dave Toyer, was creating the game, he was haunted by nightmares of major cities being nuked, just like in the game. Let's hope it was just a nightmare and not a premonition. I actually played the game first on the Atari 2600, and all of that bleak war stuff based in reality was gone. I mean, you had, like, Zardon and Krytal, sci-fi alien planets that were warring with each other. Who wants that, man? Each city had its own individual stock of missiles, and you had to, which you had to calculate who's going to hit missile first, and this and that. Bombarding us with nuclear missiles, and it's only me, <laughs> only me, and a trackball. And then those bloody things that would go beep, 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 flash down from the top, and never hit those stupid things. You just have to think quick if you want to stay on top of things. It's essentially, you can't win the game, it's to see how far you can go. It's fast paced, it's very colorful, the graphics on it, just, just the shots of the missiles going up, there's some strategy involved, which silo you're going to shoot out to hit what, there's missiles that split apart when they come down, oh I love it, it's very difficult but very fun. Missile Command's controlled with the trackball. Now I know I've complained a lot about trackballs in the past, but it actually makes sense to me in this game. Anytime you gotta move a cursor around, I'd prefer a trackball to a joystick. Moving a cursor around with a joystick is like using an edge of sketch to draw anything, anything really. The thing that really sticks with me about Missile Command is that if you're in one of those enclosed cabinets where you're sitting down and it's you know just really dark, you, you, only want, you can only come in the one side and the other side's closed off and you have the speakers right here. There's no music, it's just the, the imminent threat of you not able to save all of these various cities <laughs> from being completely vaporized. You feel like you're in like a Cold War bunker and World War III is raining down upon you. And it's your job to stop the Soviets from decimating your country. My favorite appearance of Missile Command of all time in pop culture is when Eddie Furlong plays it in the arcade in Terminator 2. Yes. Before he plays Afterburner. Yeah, which is a better game. Arguably. My favorite part of Missile Command is losing because it's got the best ending screen ever. It just says the end. And it's bright and red and goes and it's global thermonuclear war and it's awesome. Now that's how you say hasta la vista, baby.